What, what did you say? Say it again. The, the floor Sorry. is yours. Say whatever you wish. Do you have anything to say to all the uh, guys yes. who are watching uh, right now? I want to say a very big thank you to my teammate again, sort of. Like, he played so many games you don't even understand. Like, every day we played several hours. And I took out a lot of my uh, swarm host rage on him. So <laughs> I want to apologize on stream to him as well. I've already done it in private, of course, but I get very emotional against like brutal and faster and stuff like that. Sure. I can't help it. Uh, I'm also I also want to thank Vipro for lending me his uh, barcode, uh, so I could play on that without people seeing it. And uh, mm, of course, my team, which I hope I can have a long uh, relationship with, with coming forward. Fantastic. Naniwa, thank you very much for your time, and of course, congratulations once again for your victory. And a big shout out to everyone else that played here, of course, Scarlet for putting on a phenomenal series, and of course to In Control and Destiny for their undercard match. Naniwa, I shall leave you to celebrate in whatever way you want to do, and we're going to round out the show, so we will hopefully see you again in 2014. Yep, see you. Thank you for doing this uh, show match. There you go, folks. Words from Naniwa, and... Many interesting things, I suppose, about the the state of practice in the foreign scene right now. Yeah, it's... I mean, I'm not looking for practice games against the top players, but I still play on ladder quite a bit. And North American ladder, there's almost nothing there. For Scarlet in particular, I'm not sure, really sure. She's been traveling around a lot. She's been to Korea, she's been to Europe and whatnot. But when she's in North America, I don't know if she just plays on Korea and accepts the latency or what, but it, it can be very, very hard. And what you said is always true. Like, North... or non-Koreans are always much more stylistic and there's so few players that it's just there's some players you can't play against you can't play against a sulky caliber roach hydra kind of player outside of korea they just don't exist because scarlet doesn't really play that style too much so even if she did it to help you practice she wouldn't be as good at it as sulky and there's no other sort of player who is as good as sulky outside of korea so yeah everything that he said is absolutely right and really you, you gotta go to korea still if you want to be able to compete on the very highest level yeah that seems to be the case all right, folks, it is time for us to thank, of course, everyone that made this match possible, in particular, our sponsors today. You might be asking, what site did I use to send Bitcoins instantly to Naniwa for his win? That was blockchain.info, one of the most popular Bitcoin sites online right now. That is blockchain.info. You can set up as many free wallets as you wish. That's a really great way to exchange Bitcoin, uh, basically bring in Bitcoin and use it and send it to a variety of different places. It also allows you to send it to an address or to a QR code that you can just scan with a compatible smartphone app. Our other sponsors, Bitcoin Magazine, which is the place to go if you want to find out about cryptocurrency, the latest and greatest up-to-date source on Bitcoin, bitcoinmagazine.com. And Coinapult, which is a really easy way to send Bitcoin to any email address if you don't have a wallet or the person in question doesn't know anything about the service. You can do that in the US and Canada over at coinapult.com. Safelo is the European Union-based Bitcoin reseller, and it allows Europeans to safely buy and sell Bitcoins. That is HTTPS, safelo.com, and their Twitter is safeloab, spelled S-A-F-E-L-L-O-A-B. Reddit Bitcoin has been instrumental in making this happen. I'd like to particularly thank, of course, the moderators that set up the donation drive for this event that really allowed us to pump that prize pool up to rather legendary levels. That's at Reddit BTC and reddit.com slash r slash Bitcoin. And of course, something we may hopefully be seeing an awful lot of in the StarCraft 2 scene, StarCraft Bitcoin Open. That's sc2btc.com. It is an automated tournament system allowing you to play StarCraft win Bitcoin featuring a gauntlet paid tournament ladder. On Twitter, that is at sc2btc. Of course, Greg, thank you very much for co-casting once again. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, my pleasure. I would not have missed this. I would have been sitting here watching it, so I might as well talk about it at the same time. Yeah, of course. Why not? Absolutely. You, you were a great co-caster, as always, and hopefully we'll get to work together in 2014, both online and live events. And other, other people who are responsible for making this happen, a big shout-out in particular actually has to go to Willem Van Royen who is really the guy that was instrumental in getting this whole thing together and bringing all of the contributors together in a big way, making all of this happen. Big shout out to Zook, who is responsible for all of the art assets that you saw in today's presentation. And I'd also like to thank, of course, Jenna Bain, that makes pretty much all of these show matches and tournaments possible through her logistical support, all of her organization, and keeping me sane, which I think is perhaps the biggest challenge. 
Aside from that, thank you to Team Liquid for your promotion of this event, and of course, a big shout out to uh, Art slash StarCraft that have been hyping this event now for over a week, and they've been doing a phenomenal job of that. In particular, the live reporting was excellent over at r slash StarCraft, using a new feature that's actually been used for sports games for the most part. Things like football matches and all sorts of other stuff in the other sports subreddits. So thank you very much for using that. And I would, of course, like to thank all the players once again. Congratulations to Naniwa. Of course, commiserations to Scarlet. She still walks away with a good amount of money and a really good series played. And, of course, Destiny and in control for our undercard match here today. I'd like to thank Blizzard, particularly Amy Morhaim and, of course, Cloaken, a.k.a. Kevin Michael Johnson, for their really in-depth support for this event. They were absolutely behind it from the get-go. They really helped us make this possible. So thank you very much for that. And, of course, thank you to all the fans. We wouldn't be anywhere without you. And you have been a phenomenal audience. We peaked over 40,000 concurrents on the European stream alone. That's not counting the six other streams that we had running. You guys have been awesome. Hopefully you enjoyed this match. And now I think it is time to leave. I actually have a new cast to do. I, this, the, the nation war is on its way. It looks like <laughs> I'm not getting too much of a break. Huck and Suppy actually scheduled the USA, Canada, and nation war in about three minutes. So, I guess I'm not done yet. Stay on the stream, folks, if you want to watch that. I'm going to take a quick break, maybe get myself bagel and cream cheese, as delicious as that is. I will let Greg go, and I will be, I believe, solo casting the re remainder of this event. Please have a safe and wonderful Christmas, and if you missed any of the VODs, they're going to be going up today on YouTube.com slash Total Biscuit. Spoiler free, that is YouTube.com slash Total Biscuit. Thanks a lot, folks. We'll see you next time.
Search my electric soul for the hidden man within 